G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant number 52. So this is the 8-board uh, match point tournament that's played on BBO. If you haven't played it already, go ahead, give it a shot, and uh, let me know how you did. Uh, this is also a best hand tournament, so when you play, you always have the best or equal best hand at the time. And anyway, I'll get right in and see what we can do, what this one's got to offer up. Okay. Pass, pass to me, uh, 15 points, 5-3-3-2, three, three, flat hand. So even though I've got a 5-card major, I am more than happy to opening 1-0 no trump. And 2 spades, minus suit stamen. So partner is checking if I've got some minus. This is a bit of a unique convention, it's just the robots play. Other people play all sorts of things. Um, but it's important to see what they actually do. Um, and... I presume two no trumps, just natural minimum. I don't like your minors. And partner has good diamonds and yeah, so forcing to game with good diamonds. Yeah, so we'll just go three no. I'm not interested. So they're like five, four, six, four, that sort of thing. And the opponents are leading my five card suit. Um. Alright, so my partner's got 9 points opposite my 15, so we've got 24 highs, and the opponent's got off to a good lead. Um, looks like I've got at least 3 spade losers, I have a club loser, and probably a diamond loser. At any rate, I'm going to hold up the spade ace until the third round, trying to cut communication. I have to work out what to discard. I've got good diamonds in dummy, but if I play on diamonds, they'll be able to get one club, three spades, and a diamond, assuming that they've got communication. It might work in some sorts of... In some layouts, uh, they won't be able to do that. But for the most part, I don't think I'll be playing on diamonds. So, uh, the keys here are to work out how best to play the club suit. Um, I'm missing the ace-jack, and to try and count some points. Okay, so West led away from the Jack of Spades, maybe Jack third or Jack fourth. Spades are four three. Uh, I t hope to get one spade, three clubs is four, two diamonds is six, and I'll need to guess hearts as well. So a lot of guesswork. Have to find the Jack of Clubs. Have to find the uh, Queen of Hearts. But it does look like this contract is cold, assuming I can guess well. Um, so what do I know? So, I know that uh, West had to lead away from the Jack of Spades, and the robots don't really like leading away from Honours. Uh, East has the um, King Queen of Spades, and they're a passed hand. Right. Ah. Uh. I kind of want to play West for the Jack of Clubs. I don't have a lot to go on here. Um, now, I think the best thing is to get to the North Hand League Club to the Queen and then finesse the uh, Jack of Clubs through West. I could also set up an extra spade trick. So if I go for four spades, four spades, three hearts is... Sorry, two spades, three hearts is five, two diamonds is seven... I'd still need to find the club. Um, but maybe that's best. Yeah, let, let's just do that and discard a, a club. They have to open up a suit for me. And that is actually really good. I only just spotted that. Almost missed it. Okay, so now I've got uh, two club tricks. I can set up two diamonds, two clubs, two hearts, and two spades. So let's just uh, knock out this uh, top club. I probably should have let go a heart from the north hand, keep my club threat uh, wide and open. Um, so let's just play another club. Ooh, heart discard. So West had a singleton club and four spades. So they might be a triple four one. East had 
Five clubs and three spades. I think it would be important to count shape. Nine of hearts. Okay. Hmm. So dummy had five diamonds. West let go a heart. Okay. Just trying to picture what I want to do here. Feels like I'm getting close to playing a squeeze. So I'll just cash that. I'll let go a club. He's through a heart. Another heart. Okay, so West has let go two hearts. I have not seen the uh, I've not seen the Queen of Hearts, I haven't seen the Jack of Diamonds. East has shown up with the Ace Jack of Clubs, King Queen of Spades, so they also can't have both of the things. So West is down to just the two queens, so that drops and my jack's good. Wow. Whoa, that was a that was some sort of hand. Um First hand out of the slots, pretty slow on the uh, uptake of what I could do there. 92%, um, <laughs> good start. So let, let's just recap there, because first hand I hadn't quite built into uh, what I actually wanted to do. So spade lead, and I wanted to duck spades to cut communication, and then I won the uh, third one, just letting go diamonds here. Now I could have tried to guess clubs straight up, but I realized I could just set up a spade. So I went for the spade and uh, set up a spade. So now I have two spades, two hearts, two diamonds. And West is kind of end played here. They don't want to open up any suit. So they chose to open up clubs, which gave me my second club trip. Perfect. Uh, so I now actually set up my second club trick. So I knocked out the ace so I could take that. Found out how they were splitting there. And then they led a diamond to the jack and king. And now I cashed the ace and uh, cashed my spade. And at th about this point, I realized counting points was useful. And East, who was a past hand, showed up with the king, queen of spades, ace, jack of clubs. So I know West has both of the missing queens. So when I play the queen of clubs, they have to come down to a doubleton. So I just play heart to the king and heart to the ace. Whew, drop that queen. And my ninth trick. That was hard work for the first board. I usually like a little warm up there, but a nice hand to start with, 92%. Um, bunch of people went down, understandably. A few people made it. Um, they opened a spade. So they got heart lead. Okay, well a heart lead makes it a bit easier, but I still think they've got a bit of work cut out for them. Everyone else who played it from south went down, and it was a very tricky hand, but it was there to be made. 92%, uh, beautiful. Just That one's uh, my catchphrase, supposedly, so I figured I'd stick that in. Uh, ooh, nice hand, 10, 21, 4, 2, 2, 5. I think it's just easiest to treat this as a balanced hand. I was thinking about opening two no trumps, but I think this is too good for... Uh, 20 to 21. Like, I'd happily open two no trumps if it was 20 to 22. But I think this hand is worth 22 points, so I'm just going to upgrade it to a balanced 22 count. Yeah, so show 22 to 24 balanced. Partner transferred. And offered me three no trumps. Okay. Like, I've got this nice five card club suit. I've got all the aces, I love aces. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um, I have my work cut out for me here. I have no entries to the north hand. If I open two no trumps, partner would transfer to hearts and pass or something. Um, play the king. Okay, they didn't play the king. Um, right, 
So, just win that and what to do. So I've got four aces and that queen of clubs is five. I might be able to set up two more club tricks for seven, but I'm still a bit short. Um, I could try something like ace of hearts, queen of hearts. Uh, they might not know to duck it, but they should. Because we're in three no trumps and I passed. Uh, I could lead a low spade. I could try something like low spade to the eight, playing west for honor nine third. Try and get two spades. They might attack diamonds, but uh, I think that's probably best. Let's try a low spade here. Well, good, they hopped in. And a heart. So I've got my extra heart trick now. Okay, so I have two heart tricks. I can build another spade trick. I can... Should I work on my clubs at this stage? I don't think I need to. Yeah, let's just play another spade. Okay, so West hopped in with the uh, King Queen. I've got my two spade tricks, and I have an entry to the North Hand if that's what I want. Uh, but I can't really do anything useful with that entry, so stuff it all over take and try and set up clubs. So Ace of Clubs, and hope that they break four three. Yes, nice. Uh, my clubs are good, and I've just got a diamond loser, so that should be another good board there. So, very skinny game. Partner put down three jacks, but that is more than enough uh, to make it on this layout. Uh, maybe not. They might have been able to beat me, but uh, yeah. 92.9% .9 again. Okay. So, they can beat me, um, but tricky defense. I think this hand is worth upgrading. Uh, seeing as I did make opposite a misfitting three count with almost no useful points, I thought this was worth showing us 22 points and snuck home three no trumps. Other people opened two no trumps, got two, uh, three hearts, which is a good spot, I guess it can make. And some people opened one club and got to play there. Um, I think all those options are reasonable, but I think... If you're going to show this as balanced, I think this one's worth 22 points. Um, so it just depended on how I could actually show that. And because the robots play 20 to 21, I decided to upgrade into a two club bid. And got 92%. Okay, this is, this is going well. Uh, hopefully I can just keep bringing in uh, tricky three no trumps all the time. Um, okay, flat 20 count. So this one's actually in a proper 2 no trump opening. Three clubs, stamen, double. Can I redouble? What's that? Hmm. Five or fewer clubs, rebiddable clubs, two stops in clubs. I reckon we can probably make three clubs redoubled. I have two stops. I don't know if I'm going to play here unnecessarily. I, like, what are my other options? I could bid three spades. What's pass? Okay. I r when people make doubles like this, I really want to try and play there a lot. Maybe I need something like the tenor clubs. I think I'm just shy of redoubling three clubs, but it really feels right. Shouldn't forget the possibility of redoubling. But, like, I guess I, I need partner to have a reasonable hand, so... But, all right, we'll just bid three spades. Uh, maybe I should have bid three no. Denied a major suit, because I've got the two stoppers. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Hopefully it doesn't go club to the ace, club rough. Okay, that happened. Hopefully it doesn't go diamond to the ace. Alright, good. We're starting to get in business now. Okay, and... There's no real f few further concerns. 
Uh, I don't think West has five spades. I could play West for five spades. I could play East for four. Um... I guess West probably is more likely to have five spades than East have four of them. So let's lay down the king of spades. Yeah, there's no real worry as I expected. Okay, just draw the final trump. And the rest is good. So I guess three no trumps is where we wanted to get to on this hand. I also suppose that uh, three clubs redoubled doesn't make. Yeah, 46%. Okay, did anyone try redoubling? Oh yeah, someone went two node, three clubs double, redouble. Okay, uh, so if you play three clubs redoubled, uh, you actually lose four clubs and a diamond. So I think it's that close to actually redoubling. Um, what did this person do? Right, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, so pretty flat board there. I think getting to three no trumps is actually really good. It's where you want to get to on this hand. I, I, I was like so tempted to redouble three clubs and then I just forgot, like, hang on, I don't actually want to play in four spades. So I really should have just bid like pass or denied a major or something. Um, and got to three no trump. That was a bit silly, but uh, yeah, 46% seemed pretty common, but I think I should have done better. Anyway, 77% going well so far. A uh, pretty normal takeout double here. Okay, two spades, three hearts. I'm not interested in game, so I'll just pass. Oh, wow, yuck. Partner should probably make a takeout double of their own here. Um, four smalls, probably not uh, the most ideal holding. Because I don't promise four hearts here. If they had better hearts, then sure. Wow, I've only got seven points as well. Okay, so I've got two spade losers, a lot of heart losers. So let's see what we can do. Uh, right. Diamond switch. And let's just lead a heart, see what actually happens. I think I just want to duck this. I think heart to the king is very, very scary. Queen of clubs. This is getting pretty scary. Do they have shortages? Uh... Hmm. Okay, so what, what's my goal on this hand? If they both have shortages, like if West has a singleton club and East has a singleton diamond, they're making 10 tricks. They have no spade, loses one diamond, one club, and maybe a heart. So I still think I want to try and get out for down one in this hand. If I play diamond over and that gets knocked off, club rough, and that would all go really, really poorly. Uh, other options, exit a spade and force them to do something. Uh, they've, they've got a nine card fit, but they didn't compete to, thro to three spades. So I don't actually think they've both got shortages and a nine card fit. So things are probably breaking reasonably well to some extent. So let's try this uh, diamond to the queen business. Okay, and they roughed. And they roughed. Yeah, so. Okay, so I drew one round of trumps and they both got to rough one thing. So there's only one trump out. And we have the rest. 
Oh, don't pitch in both hands. Okay, and three down for eighteen percent. Someone went seven down. They are cold for game. Two spades pass. Someone got out for two down, so what did they do? Top spade, diamond switch. Nine of hearts ran around. Queen. They win. And low club. So they snuck a low club back and then got to lead a heart up again. But they just ducked the heart, so... I wonder if they would consider just leading a low heart or something like that. I did consider leading a low heart away from my king there. But if hearts were 4-1 and they just win, draw trumps, and then run all the spades, that also was really, really scary. Um, anyway, I think not bidding here is way too pessimistic. I think you have to get in there and double. But I don't agree with my partner's three heart bid. I think they should double. We can bid to three clubs. Three clubs is probably okay. Um, you got two spades and three heart losers. You probably go one or two down, but the opponents can make game. Uh, pretty tough for them to get there. Anyway, I'll take my 17%. I think that's sort of like the par spot, or like what should... Considering my hand, I think that was like the best I was ever going to achieve there. Okay, so drop to rank 2 after two mediocre boards. 18% probably a bit beyond mediocre, but I don't mind. Ooh, 10... 15, and a good club suit. So I could double and bid clubs, I could just bid clubs. What's a three heart bid? It's not asking for a stopper, what's a two heart bid, Michaels? Yeah, I knew that one. Uh, I think there's just a two club bid. Do I want to sell out here? What's three heart? Three clubs. Um, I am vulnerable against not. Um... Where are the spades? I'll just pass. I suspect that we'll go three hearts, pass, pass. Okay, so... Is it worthwhile coming back in with four clubs? I look like I've got seven clubs and the ace of diamonds for eight. I might, I might only have six clubs. Uh, with ace bidding three diamonds, I think my diamonds are sitting pretty well. If West had good support for diamonds, then they might not. So... Wow, this is 18 plus high card points. Are you serious? And 18 or less total points. I want to compete to four clubs. I think it's probably wrong. I think, but I think the worst part is the robot will probably bid over it. Um, all right, we'll pass. Trying to avoid some disaster there. Okay, so Ace of Clubs, and that happens. Right. I think just playing a trump is okay. I could consider switching to the Queen of Spades. Therefore, if my partner's got a good heart, they can get in and give me a spade rough. So that's not too bad. I don't think they've got that many clubs worth roughing, so I can't stop that, so we'll go for that approach. Yeah, they're drawing trumps anyway. Wow, they finessed all the hearts and are now setting up the spades. Okay, so my partner held that up. Uh, diamond to me. Hmm. Right. So East has three spades, five hearts and length in diamonds. So I think that might get knocked off, yeah. So they have four spades. Uh, so they're gonna get to pitch one of their diamonds. Okay, and they've got 10 tricks. 32%, another absolutely rubbish hand. Started off so well. I can hold it to nine. Other people got to four hearts down one. 
Yeah, they did come in and bid four clubs immediately. I guess that's reasonable. I wasn't totally sure about doing it. Um, oh, wow, the people that passed and got back in with four clubs. So how did they actually beat it? So let's just see this. They led the Queen of Spades. Really? Heart finesse. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. They took a heart finesse that worked once and then they refused to do it. Oh. Alright. I think three hearts making ten is okay. I was tempted by not that auction, but this one. Um, we're coming back in with four clubs. Um, but then, like, against good opponents, they might just double you. Things like that. It's kind of tricky. Yeah. I think I'm doing alright, and, like, these three boards are just, like, normal stuff that are going poorly. We'll bounce back. We'll do alright. Drop to rank four on 56%. Um, 10, 18, 21 points in a balanced hand. So, too strong to bid a no trump, so I'll just double and bid 2 no. Yeah, that's 19 to 21 high card points. Too strong for a 1 no overcall. And we get to 3 no trump. Okay. So I have 21. My partner's got 6 for um, 27. So there's only 13 points missing. East open, so they've probably got them all. West might have the jack of spades. The robots don't tend to open 11 counts. So I'll give West one jack at most. So the rest will be working. So heart, I'll just duck that. I know that the uh, king's on side. They return the 10. Uh, so I've still got a finesse position with the ace 8. Alright, so let's just cash the ace of clubs. And king of diamonds. And another diamond. Okay, so what do I want to do from here? I'm fairly sure I can get back to that north hand with a club. I don't believe that clubs are 4-1. In fact, I think East probably has a Dalton club now. Yeah, I kind of need to take that club finesse now. Right. Okay. So... That was unexpected. East did open an 11 count. They've got an unbalanced hand with five hearts and one club. Now, I do want uh, the entry back to that north hand, so I'll just stick in the jack of clubs. Now I've got the 10 as an entry back. Spade, and that wins. And now I've got the uh, rest of the tricks. Just untangling all that. Okay, diamonds weren't 3-3. That was good. Ooh, 92% for that. Really? Um, okay, so let's just see what else happened. What other people did. Nine of hearts, queen, they ducked, heart, jack, ace of clubs, king of diamonds, diamond, yeah, they just cashed the other diamond straight away, which set up uh, the east hand. Now, I thought the chances of diamonds 3-3 are pretty remote, but I thought the club finesse was nearly 100%. So I thought I'd take the club finesse and set them up before risking that stuff. But, ooh, it was going to be messy. It was an awkward hand entry-wise. Anyway, 92%. Three no, no trumps. That's where I have to play. I've worked it out. It's the time to play in three no trumps. So that got me back up to 62%. Two boards to play. Uh, th balance 13 count. Okay. Club pass a no trump. Alright. Let's, let's play. Huh. 
Opponents have a heart fit but never bid them. I have two spades, two clubs. With that lead, I can set up a diamond trick as well. And Ace chose to lead an honor, and they didn't lead a major. Okay. Um. Okay, I guess I win. Holding up is a bit rich. I can play a club to the ace, club finesse. Is that the best I can do? Uh, two spades, two clubs, a diamond is five. Club finesse works, that's six. Don't really see many other options here. And it loses. Another club back, and they're not breaking. Ah, good, good. Just what I wanted. Okay. So, do I cash out my two spades now? Or, surely they don't have that many tricks, especially when West pitched a heart. So, I think just, I could try ducking a spade, but I think that's pretty scary stuff because I might not get my trick. So I'll just give up a diamond. And they're now cashing. They're both pitching hearts. I kind of like that. I'm really hoping that they set up a heart trick. Yeah, like that, that's all I did. I thought my spades would come back to me and I was hoping they'd set up a heart trick for me. And they have. And should I just cash out my ace king now? Or is there any remote chance of another trick? Like they both pitched a heart. Uh, they pitched a winning club, so they don't have that many winners. I don't think hearts are breaking particularly badly. Queen of spades. Drop that jack. No. Alright, 71%. I, I definitely know where it is. It's all in the no trump play. One no down one uh, for 71%. Someone managed to make. Oh, brutal. Go J Cortina. Queen of diamonds lead. They won and they just led the ten of spades and ducked a spade. I suppose that's reasonable. Then got a diamond lead, and the opponents cash diamonds. Switch to clubs. Spade and a spade. And he just exited a heart. Wow, that is brave. And just end played them. Ah, oh, missed that, obviously. Um, yeah. Well, that, that was one way to play it. Anyway, uh, back into rank two, running at 63.8%. And let's see what the final hand has to offer us. And this is an interesting bidding problem. Uh, pass four hearts, and the robots are usually pretty conservative here. And I have this monster. Alright, I guess, whatever. I got 22 highs, decent diamond suit, it's not perfect. But I guess my part, like, the robots are really conservative, so... Odd number of key cards, void in diamonds. Okay, not not the perfect thing I wanted to hear. Uh, well, I guess it's six hearts then. Whoa, perfect cards from my partner. Look at them go. Um, Alright, so I just want to draw trumps as quickly as possible. Hope that hearts aren't five whatever. Five nil. And that they don't get a club rough. Yeah, so that is all good from here. Now, I knew that no trumps was bad because I was off the king of diamonds and the ace of... and an ace, so... If I knew that, that my partner had all those filler cards, then... Uh, 
six no trumps would be good, but my partner really doesn't need all those filler cards. And six no trumps could just be absolutely terrible. Whereas six hearts allows me to get uh, the, that rough in. 42% to finish off with. Yeah, so everyone's moving, lots of people getting there. Some people got to six no trumps. I think that's... Uh... Yeah. Anyway, uh, finished in third on 61.6%. Two people got to six no trumps. I think that's a poor proposition. They got, got uh, lucky. Um, but yeah, I, I think overall pretty well... Like, this is a tricky set. I got... Um, the first two boards I really, really liked. This middle set, I don't think I did ter uh, much wrong. I stand by most of my choices and got pretty punished, which happens from time to time. And overall, yeah, I I'm, I'm content with this. 61%. Uh, anyway, uh, the winner for my set was Hanson50 on 63.4%, so pretty close overall. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, weekly free instant tournament. Uh, let me know how you did or if you've got any hands that uh, you did differently or th wanted to know a bit more about my thoughts. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.